Okay, so we're going to take a quick tour of the Presence Digital Archive. Uh, so if you want to just dive right in and start reading issues, just scroll down and pick the one you want. Click on the cover of the issue you want to read. And it'll open for you in our Flip software. So to turn pages, it's pretty simple. You can just click. Just clicking the mouse will turn the page for you. You'll see there's a left arrow over here if you want to go back, and a right arrow if you want to click forward. You can also click in the corners of the pages and drag them, just like you were turning a page. You can also navigate by using this grid view down here, which shows you thumbnails of the various pages. So I click on this thumbnail, and it will show you all of the pages in order on this bar across the screen. And I can just click and drag across to get to the pages that I want to actually read. When I'm done with this, I'll just click this X to come out. So I can zoom in to read the text in a couple of ways. I can double click the text and that will get me closer. Um, there's also this zoom option here. I can zoom in or out. And when I'm zoomed in, I can actually click and drag around on the page so that I can get in close uh, to where I want to read. If you have a mouse wheel, you can actually zoom in even more. A mouse wheel, uh, by scrolling, it will let you zoom in or out, which is very slick. And you'll see that when I'm zoomed way in, I've got a page navigator up here and this green box just represents where I am on the page. And I can actually drag that around too to get to the part of the presence issue that I want to read. You've also got navigation arrows down here. So these arrows will click you back and forth between the pages. Or you can use these middle arrows to go to the very first page or the very last page. And finally, you can manually enter the page number that you want to go to by typing the number in. If you want a real immersive reading experience, you can click this icon here, which takes it into full screen, which fills up the entire screen. And this icon here is an autoplay feature, which turns the pages every 10 seconds for you. Unless you're a super speed reader or just want to preview all the pages, you probably don't need to use this. You'll also see there's a search feature here. Now this search bar will search the entire issue of presence. So if you know what you are looking for, you can type your search term in there. And the results will show up over here on the left side and you can click on any one of them. You'll see that the search term is highlighted in the issue. So the other feature of the presence digital archive that's very slick is this search. And the search tool will search through every single issue of presence uh, based on the key term that, you'll, that you are looking for. Now, the search will take some getting used to and uh, will probably take some experimentation on your part just based on uh, what it is that you're looking for. Obviously, if I search for the word spiritual direction, I'm going to get a whole lot of uh, search results for that, right? Uh, and if I'm looking for something very specific, like grief and spiritual direction, uh, I'm probably going to have to experiment with my key terms a little bit. Here's a quick tip for using the search. If you want a real kind of rudimentary table of contents, all you have to do is search for the volume number and the issue number with the dash in between. So if I wanted to see all the articles in issue 26.3, I would just type 26-3 and click search. And the search results will return all of the articles from issue 26.3. But let's just start with the word grief and see what turns up. I click search. And the search results will show up below. Uh, what you'll get in the search results are the author, the article title, the date of the presence publication, the volume number, and the issue number. So this is volume 26, issue one. You'll see your search term is highlighted in yellow. 
The other really nice feature about this search is that if I click on any of these results, it will open the issue where that article is located. Now it will not take you directly to the article. You'll have to find that as a second step. Uh, but being able to just locate the issue that you need, it's pretty simple to find the actual article that you want. Let's just go with this one here, uh, accompanying people through loss. So if I click that link, it will open the issue and then I can just turn the page and I can see that accompanying people through loss is right here. So I could either just turn to page 34, I could type it in down here, three, four, or I could search for it again up here in the black search bar at the top. That will take me to where I need to go. And there we are. Just click the back button to go back to the digital archive and read away. There's dozens of issues going back to 1995. If you want to read the very first issue of Presence, we have it. So whether you're doing research or you are a spiritual companion uh, looking for resources for your practice, or if you just want to take a deep dive into the history of SDI, the Presence Digital Archive is a really great tool. We hope that it benefits a lot of spiritual companions for a long, long time.